let's talk about how we're going to collect all these puppies. So um, let me go ahead and I need to go ahead and clear out just a few more blocks there. Good. Okay, got them here. Yep, this one's already got them. And there we go. That one's got them as well. Okay. Now for this next step, I got to go ahead and grab. Um, I got to go ahead and grab some um, powered rails and a couple of mine carts. So be back in a quick second while I go ahead and grab those things. Hey guys, it's Kimmy. Say I'm back. So sorry. What I gathered together is I gathered powered rails. So I'm going to need the power rails. I grabbed myself a couple of mine carts, a couple of hoppers, and oh. I must have forgot all the regular rails. Well, regular rails are easy to put together, so. Well, now the first thing I did is the first mistake I made is that you don't want them to go this way. What you want to do is you want to place them so that they'll line up, obviously, back and forth across the whole thing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my redstone block here. So about eight places in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, about halfway in is we'll go ahead and break one of these. There we go. And let's go ahead and put a redstone block there that way. What that does is that's going to go ahead and power everything. Boom. So for instance, it's just really easy. You can just Whoops, guess I ran out of rails there. Boom, boom, boom. And because they're already set to go straight, they should go straight. Now, I'm also gonna go ahead and place, well, I guess I'll just do the same thing over here. That'll make it easy, is I'll place a couple of breadstone blocks there. It makes it super simple to light up other things. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and run up here, or should I say, run down run down here to the crafting bench that I have laid out for later and let's quickly make some rails so um, whoops my spelling's awful okay and we'll go ahead and take a set of 16 rails up there with us as well okay let's get back up here so um, this is super simple to do and um, one of the reasons why I built it this way is it's not on chunk borders or anything so the chances of my mine carts disappearing and everything are pretty low so I'm going to go ahead and lay that down and you notice I got a couple of hoppers up here so let's go ahead and grab those hoppers right now and the hoppers I'm just going to have pointing down for right now, just like I have these. So what we'll what we'll be doing is I'll be go ahead and well, okay, is I'll be taking these down and over, and those hoppers will then be um, leading into our 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 um, water elevator, which will end up taking all of our whoops, which will end up taking all of our resources straight up to our new storage system, which is the last thing we'll be working on. Okay, so I put two regular rails right there. I go ahead and add a powered rail right there, and we are ready to go. So what do we need to complete that? Well, we just need ourselves a hopper minecart. So that's one hopper minecart, and that's two hopper minecarts, and then we'll just leave the rest of the hoppers for later, okay? So we'll take our two hopper minecarts, set them right there, and boom, they are ready to go. So as soon as those start going, the hopper mine carts, since this is less than a full block because of the way um, farmed land is, because that's less, less than a full block, as that goes across, what it's going to do is it's going to catch anything that's laying on top of it very efficiently and collect them. And when it's collected in those, it'll then drop them in there. So there you go. One of the coolest melon, melon or pumpkin farms out there. And I'll tell you what pretty efficient. I'm going to have a ton of melons and pumpkins to trade those farmers before you know it. Oh yeah, check it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and speed everything up because I've got two more of these to do. And after that, what we'll do is we'll hop down into our sugarcane farm and I'll show you that one as well. Okay, so this is Kimmy Say. Be back in a little bit. Bye-bye.
Hey guys, this is Kimmy saying I'm back, and you know what? Everything's been going really well. We got all the modules made for both our melon and our pumpkin farms. They are just cranking away. Check them out. They are mo they are moving. We've got pumpkins and melons just popping up, and I wonder why that one hasn't fired yet. Okay. Well, anyways, there's always something to fix, right? Okay, anyway, so I'll just leave that for now. But if we take a look, you know, last time I showed you that the pumpkins were, <laughs> were rocking it. Okay, they were, they were doing a pretty good job. Okay, and our melons, our melons were doing great as well. Okay, so we've got plenty of melons, plenty of pumpkins. In fact, this has just been crazy how much we're getting with all this stuff here. It's awesome. So, um, this is going to be one heck of an efficient farm. Yeah, these are already filled up. So, okay. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to come down one layer. And just since Alaska, just to let you know, the melon farm, for some reason, wasn't wanting to grow. Oh, come on, keep going. It wasn't wanting to grow at the level we did, so I had to drop the melon farm... <laughs> all down one level but that worked out pretty good everything's working now everything's lit up everything's going and it's nice now what we're going to do is we are going to work on our sugarcane farm now when you go researching sugarcane farms there's really two kinds to build you can build like the observer farms which are great pretty resource intensive I think I mean they they, they need a lot of resources um, when you start building tons of observers and tons of pistons okay I personally prefer um, one that goes way back to again impulse you know is a slime block design so what I so you know um, if you look up slime blocks slime box are fantastic they can connect they can hold each other together and if you look at what a piston can push the piston can push up to 12 blocks so what I did is I looked at our one chunk setup and I went ahead and designed a sugarcane farm and using two pistons per side now is that not resource nice I mean yeah you have to get the slime blocks that's, that's the worst part, but with a good slime farm, um, I've got a slime farm going, and I was kind of lazy, so I went ahead and bought a whole bunch of slime from Trunks on the server. Thanks, Trunks, for the slime. It made life a lot easier. Um, I was able to make this farm. Now, um, since I'm not using observers on this farm, okay, what I'm doing is I'm using a timer. Now... There's lots of different timers. I could have built like a hopper clock timer. I could have used a timer like I have way above on the big mob farm. But instead, what I chose to do is notice I got two mine carts going back and forth because they're just doing a great job gathering all the melons and everything. What I did on this side is I decided just to have one mine cart. And what I have it is I have it looping around. So this one mine cart is looping around and it's taking its time. I went ahead and put a detector rail here. So every time that mine cart passes the detector rail, it's going to shoot out a redstone signal. The redstone signal I want to have spliced going to both of my um, pistons. And so what it does, it sets off the pistons and it pushes them off. Now if you look, you'll notice that when I built this, I did not set it up for these to grow too high just single one high now I do have this going off fairly fairly consistently so every time one of these goes up boom we get a sugar cane every time in fact you can see some from down there and once we get enough of these built we will be like having so much sugar cane <laughs> see it's already all over the place down there now the trick to doing this is the see the piston the slime blocks are going to push that sugar cane right off so what's nice about that is that when those things shoot across they'll shoot straight across until they hit something so that's why i got to have the wall here is so when those sugar cane across it'll hit it now below this i'm going to have cactus so well, when i want to go down i don't want to hit either any of the cactus either so i believe this is going to work we have the cactus directly underneath the wall so it's going to hit the wall and come down and should miss the cactus once we have the cactus built up in there now this this farm i'll tell you what it is super super easy to build so what we're going to do is we're going to um jump through some steps real quick and get it built together um first thing first thing to know this is farm farm is five wide one 
two, three, four, five. You're going to have a middle block that goes all the way through, just like I have right here. That is going to be my piston block. So um, we'll go ahead and extend that here in just a bit. But before we put the piston block here, we're going to go ahead and do our water. And um, if you know about sugarcane, you know that sugarcane requires sugarcane requires um, you to have a water source. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and use this great 1.13 mechanic using the stairs because this way I can actually make my um, sugarcane farm fairly short. So instead of it having to be like um, well actually I only have it right now it's only one two three four blocks high that's crazy it's a four block high sugarcane farm and it's it's gonna be f fairly efficient in fact it should be lossless with the slime blocks okay oops well, let me go ahead and quickly grab some more stairs uh, grab some more blocks there we go okay so again um, what we're gonna do really quick is I'm gonna go ahead and get those stairs put in and um, I'll cut right back to it we're gonna go ahead and also waterlog all those stairs so give me just a minute and we'll catch everybody back up okay guys as Kimmy said I just got back let me go ahead and grab some dirt because that's the next step is we're gonna go ahead and grab yeah nice big stack of dirt why do I keep getting those? I'm not sure. Nice big stack of dirt because the dirt is what the sugar cane is going to grow. So we've got our we've got our water sources right there. We're going to go ahead and now go ahead and place all of our dirt blocks. Pretty simple, you know. Um, farms like this are a whole lot of fun. And yeah, I might do a lot of research, but I always end up modifying the farms to work in my particular world. I usually don't build farms exactly. I like to understand exactly how the redstone's working. Um, what type of signals are being used because that, I think that's what makes it interesting. Um, oh, I guess we can do it from down here. Okay, so these layers right there are where the sugar cane is going to grow. Okay, now Minecraft has what we call uh, movable and unmovable blocks. Okay, now a movable block is something that a piston can move. An unmovable block is something that a piston, guess what? it can't move okay now the thing about movable and unmovable blocks okay is that you want to go ahead and um wrong one you want to go ahead and be aware of which blocks you have on your build especially when you're using pistons to move things or there we go and especially when you're using slime blocks Otherwise, you might not get the results you're shooting for. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and have this um, break line right in between here. Now, notice we got leaves here. Now, the reason why I'm using leaves, or I'm actually getting ready to change the leaves, but the reason why I'm using leaves all around here is guess what? Leaves are an, unmo are, are an, unmo are an unmovable block. Slime blocks will not try to move the leaves. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't help us with the redstone because you can't place any redstone on leaves. So what we want to do is we want to get that timer signal coming from over there extended on there now what um, to come to the other side, but we can't run it on leaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a few furnaces because furnaces are a great unmovable block. You know, and again, I'm not looking for an aesthetic build right here. I just want a pretty efficient build. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some furnaces. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these right here to extend our redstone signal. So when we're ready to drop some redstone, we'll be able to drop some redstone. Boom. And so that's going to come across the bridge here. Now we're going to have to be aware and do this and do similar things here um, to get our redstone into this and get our redstone signals all set up. Okay, so very good. Now check it out. So what we do is we've got our water sources. We've got um, over here. What we did is we're going to go ahead and lay some leaves and we're going to lay some blocks. So let's go ahead and uh, do I got enough blocks? No, nope. let's run over to my block box and yeah we'll just use cobble 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 will work 
for the job. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and lay a row of cobble down the center because we're not really doing anything with this. In fact, this is what we're going to have our pistons attached to is this particular set of cobble in the center. Now, again, um, I was able to get this down to five because there were, instead of doubling up the center block, the center block is going to have all of our pistons on it. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hollow out these sides because we do not want these to become movement hindrances to our blocks as we, as we set them up. And we'll also go ahead and do these too while we're at it. Okay, so again, remember we're using slime blocks. Slime blocks want to stick to stuff. One thing slime blocks don't stick to is leaves. So what we're going to do real quick is now we're going to go ahead and set our leaves down here because um, where these leaves are going to be is where the slime blocks are going to be. So we won't want, we really don't want the slime blocks um, sticking to the leaves. So leaves in this case are a fairly inexpensive thing to use. Plus, I think it makes it a little bit looks a little bit nicer. Got some greenery in here with the um, with with our sugarcane farm, so it doesn't look as brown and gray like a big underground farm. Okay, great. So there we go. Now, so this middle line is going to be our pistons, and in order to save a little space, here's what I'm going to do. Let's see here. Oops, looks like I need to get some pistons. So let's run over here to where I have our supplies for today's stuff. And there we go. I've got two sticky pistons, but I need four sticky pistons. And let's see here. I got 33 slime blocks. That may be enough, but it's not gonna be enough if I need slime balls. So, um, hmm. Let me get two more of these pistons, and I'll be right back while I go grab some slime balls in which to convert them into sticky pistons. Okay, guys, I am back, and I've got my sticky pistons ready to go. Now, the way I'm going to place these, I think, I think it's kind of ingenious myself, but the way I'm going to place these is I'm going to go ahead and do one sticky piston facing this side. Boom. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. No, not there, because I don't want to go through having to change those all over again. So we'll go over, we'll go over one. Okay, so one sticky piston there, nice. Okay, and on this side, we'll get away with being able to do it right here. And one sticky piston there. On this side, we're going to go ahead and place on the top. Sticky piston there, sticky piston there. Uh, okay. We'll go over one more. Okay. <laughs> now, there's a reason behind this. Okay. Um, what I'm doing is when we have the redstone come in, we're going to have it go up level and it's going to power this. And by powering the block below, it's going to bud power the one below it. So we're going to have one redstone line that comes straight across here and it's going to power both of those at the same time pretty sweet I think okay now what we'll do is we're gonna well let's see that's not gonna actually work there so we're gonna have to probably use our buddy the piston here now that's gonna be fine there we'll leave that here and the piston the the forge right there now since we're not gonna have slime blocks here we can go ahead and um, just use a piece of uh, we'll just use a piece of cobble right here and that's going to give us our power. So, for instance, if we go ahead and get some redstone. Now, again, not sure. I might have to get a. I might have to get a repeater here, but I've got those upstairs. So, e ooh, just barely. Okay, let's see how it goes. Does it get them both? Okay, so it's not reaching our top guy here. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I wasn't under one of these before, so that's... Hmm. That could be problematic. So let's go ahead and... Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Okay. This might cause for a redesign, guys. I might have to totally redesign what's going on here. Um... Okay, guys, so I'm back. This is Kimmy Say. So here we go. Um, figure it out. I just need to space it one more way and take a look. It is popping just like you want it to. Okay, so now it's slime block time. So hopefully I've got enough slime blocks to do this. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just, just so that I can get all this laid out without getting knocked off, is I'm going to go ahead and... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to need I'm gonna need another furnace. So give me a second. Let's go let's go craft another furnace or two. Okay, I don't need that. Okay. Let's just in case. I'd rather at least have a few more furnaces on hand. Okay. Okay, so let's go back up here. tricky part with slime blocks is you gotta think ahead so let's go ahead and knock that out let's do that um, don't need the bow at the moment there we go that's gonna work out just fine but unfortunately I gotta do the same thing here so let's go ahead and do this there we go and that should take care of that now um, I'm laying out my slime blocks, and for this, and for the pistons at the bottom, this should work perfect. So you notice I just lay straight across like that, and I shouldn't have any trouble with those. So those are the easy ones, okay? In fact, so easy, we can say we're running, we're done with these. So I'm just going to go ahead and, um, close this one up and it just looks looks that much nicer because of it okay now um, the downside though is with these other ones is it's not as easy or should we say it's not as straightforward see what we want to do is we don't want this piston to move but if we put a slime block right down there we risk causing a stalemate in that piston will we'll cause itself to move well we really don't want that so what we're going to do is it's going to use a few extra um, thing it's going to use a few extra slime blocks but in the end it's going to work Oops, yeah, it's gonna work fantastic, okay? So now, there we go. Just like that, we have a collect. So what I did is I had to surround that and have slime blocks go to either side. So it does cost me some extra slime blocks. It looks like I might have to make some more slime blocks. I've got one set left, so that's that's good news. Um, let me go, let's go ahead and use what's left of our slime blocks real quick. Good thing this is the only other thing I need slime blocks for. So, hopefully 12 is all I'm going to need. In fact, I think it is. So, let's go ahead and lay out the slime blocks for this side. Well, let's stop derping around. Okay. Okay, right back up here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did on this side, except we're going to go ahead and put our lantern there and, and the other advantage of having the lantern there is it's going to add some light in to the um, build which is great for our sugarcane boom and look we had a couple to spare whoo yeah okay now before I lay out all of the things and we go ahead and go with the test I'm going to go ahead and lay out my sugarcane And actually, let's go ahead and fill in some, hmm. yeah. The walkway is gonna have to do some changing there, okay. In fact, we're probably gonna end up closing all this in anyways. So we'll get to that here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and plant these all on this side. go ahead and leaf it up too. This will help uh, help keep it clean. Now unfortunately I can't leaf up these sides as much because I've got 
I've got some um, magic dust coming up. Well, should we say magic dust? I've got the slime blocks that are going to be pushing out here as well. So we'll just um, do it just for the level. Now, again, these sugar cane only have to grow one level before they get bounced. So this is what's nice about it. It's going to be very efficient. It's going to knock them out fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and get this side done now. And let's go ahead and do our leaves. Love my silk touch. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's see here, I guess what we're going to do, ooh, hmm. You know what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna go ahead and get our sugar cane planted. Okay, because we are about to get risky here. Okay, so let's see here. This is going to look awesome. That's another thing about the build here is it looks fairly nice. It's not a dirty build. It's not real messy. It's very efficient though, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and link our redstone. There we go. It is all ready to go. And I'm going to wait a moment. Let's see if I can get... There we go. Let's get across. Be oh, <laughs> alrighty. Wasn't fast enough, was I? Okay. Let's just do it from up here. Okay. And so, what we'll do now is we'll set this up. And we have now upgraded our farm on three levels. We'll show you two of the three levels, okay? So, lots of progress being made. Oh, I'm not sure how much time I have left. I'm going to check here in just a little bit. But... Um, things are looking pretty good. We now have a fully 100% um, mostly lossless. I just got to build some more walls up and everything and get all get all the little doodads done. Um, Sugarcane farm looking really nice, really 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 nice. I'm pretty I'm super stoked about this thing. <laughs> now, um, you know what? Since we got you guys here, we can let's launch straight in to the next scenario okay and so for the next scenario we're going to build a simple simple cactus farm so we don't need a whole lot to do this we need cactus we need sand we need trap doors and that's what we're going to use right now well check it out those things are already doing it okay now what we're going to do is you'll notice i've got all these blocks spaced out okay now when you're building a cactus farm you always want to have about two spaces between your cactus the reason behind is when the cactus breaks, you don't want the cactus to fall into other cactus because then the cactus is gone. So that's the whole idea. Now, what we're going to use is we're going to use trap doors to put our sand one because what we do is we want the sand to be up off the ground because we're going to use a water collection. Whoops, not that way. Let's bring our axe back out of retirement. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay. So what we'll do is, is on all of these, and again, we're going to have several cactuses in here, okay, is we're going to go ahead and put these trap doors on them. And again, what the trap door is, is that giving, that's giving us a place to put our cactus on. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that... <coughs> hmm, i got to make some trap doors. Okay. So um, I'll go ahead and put these on there. I'm going to show you pretty much the rest of the farm here because it's super, super simple to build. So there we go, trap doors. Now, next step is after we got the trap doors done, we can start adding, whoops, we can start adding the sand. So the trap doors are essentially going to hold the sand up. Yep, pretty simple, right? We'll, we'll go ahead and get this side going. Okay, now I believe, now see, here's the, here's the thing is, boom, the cactus, it's going to dry, to try to grow too high. So what I'm going to do is, I think I have enough room. Now, if I need to dig down some more, I will. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and get these guys done over here and we're going to and I'm going to test the farm. I'm going to take a few minutes after I after I get these set up to test the farm because I want to make sure it's going to produce cactus. 
I don't need the cactus to grow up high. I just need to get picked up. Wow, look at all the sugar cane popping down here. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is there you go. That is the basis for the cactus farm. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to try to grow higher or not. We're going to find out here. I'm going to give it about... I'm going to give it about 10, 15 minutes to see if we can't um, get some cactus growing. If it grows higher, then good. I'm not going any higher. If not, I'm going to dig this all down one more level, and then that will be that will be where we stop there. So um, I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, hey guys, this is Kimmy. Say I'm back, and do you know what I realized? I did a whole bunch of work, and I thought I was recording. But apparently, I never hit the record button. Crazy, isn't it? It's awesome. So, let me just go. So, here we go. Here are my cactus farms. This is where I left off, guys. As we went ahead and got all those cactus up. And my water was kind of not working out the best way. Or should I say, it wasn't flowing. So, we, so let's just review cact, simple cactus farm. We use our... Um, gates to hold the sand up then we put the cactus on top of the sand then we use an iron bar to break the cactus as it grows and we use a water collection system okay so this water collection this collection system we got it eight blocks so it goes all the way down to the edge yep there's something else kind of being collected and then we have a chute that goes all the way down here now I finished this a little bit ago let's see what we got in there yeah we got nine cactus already and we got 21 wow sugarcane that's pretty fast because it hasn't been running hardly at all. I'm going to go ahead and throw my extra cactus and sugar cane in there for right now just so I can get some space back um, because the next step of the game is getting all this up into a big sorting. Wow, there's a piece of cactus right there. So this farm is already starting to pay dividends. So that's pretty exciting that we're already starting to see um, some of um, some of our hard work pay off there. So that's awesome. Um, well, here we go. This will get us up. So there we go. There's our sugarcane farm. There's a few things I need to go ahead and do to optimize this. Let me go down down here. No, I don't have them down here. I have them up here. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some leaves because there's a few more places I want to put leaves to optimize. Where? Okay, I must put the leaves in the chest down here. Yep. There we go. So we got some oak leaves back. Uh, I'll leave it up there. No, okay. So I got a few oak leaves. So we're gonna go ahead and put some oak leaves up here in the in the farm just to give us some. Um just to finish out the look. I'm probably gonna have to go gather some more. Um Yeah. Ooh. Parkour master. Well, not really. Okay. Um, but I uh, can't cover any of that. Hey. There we go. Yep, those are all good. Okay. Let's see how we're doing up here. Yep, those are all good, just the way I left them. So those are rocking and rolling. Awesome. Uh, need to get that cart moving. It stopped. Whoa! Yep, that's okay. Uh, there's a way. There's always a way out. Okay. Which is down here. Okay. So, good. Got my leaves placed farms are coming together this has been one heck of a productive episode so but you know what i'm getting tired and basically oh yep here i'll just go ahead and put these down here for for right now and get this out of the way okay so um well guys I think it's time for us to call it. So let's just go over. We had four main goals today. We wanted to um, automate the super chunk from top to bottom. And you know what? We got three out of the four. That is great. That is pretty awesome stuff. Three out of the four goals. Oops, did I just break something important? Okay. Well, anyway, so um, first goal was to um, was to was to go ahead and get the melon farms and pumpkin farms working, and those things are banging out a ton of melon pumpkins. In fact, those are already full. The the hoppers that I have up there, so I've got to go ahead and quickly get my storage system up and running, and um, start collecting that. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time up there. Also, um, we wanted to we we'll go ahead and redo the um, sugarcane farm, and now we have that thing is almost totally lossless. It's super efficient. As soon as something grows, it's going to knock it off, and it's going to be collecting all day long. And we're, and after I place a few more strategic leaves, we won't have any more stuff getting stuck. And then we create a brand new cactus farm, as you can see right here, following the age-old 
simple, super, very common cactus farm technique that almost everybody in Minecraft uses, and that's turning great. I've already, I've already got like 10 cactuses out of it. It's only been running for a few minutes, so that's pretty awesome. Things we didn't get to today. Haven't started the storage system, but I knew that we wouldn't get to that. Also, we didn't get the three main farms, the wheat, the potatoes, and the carrot farms done upstairs. Um, be honest with you, I'm not going to do beetroots. It's not like you can trade for beetroots or anything, and also, it's not like you need them. Whoa! Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, anyway, so um, didn't get to, didn't get a chance to do any of that. So we're going to have to save that for the next episode. So um, just to say, hey guys, thanks a lot. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. Keep watching for more videos so that you can see as they see them as they come out. Also, I would love it if you hit me a like button. The like button really helps out the channel. It suggests. It suggests this this episode for other people who are into Minecraft and everything. It helps me get some views and it helps the channel out quite a bit. So I hope you guys have a great day and I want to just say thanks. This is Kimmy Say signing out. Bye-bye.